What's up, guys? Hey, look at the quality. I got, you know, I, I fixed my, um, um, what do you call it? a Hollywood lamp for my fiance. You know, if you want to do makeup. Turns out, surprisingly good camera and or lighting for making this type of. <laughs> look at me. I'm old. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, this time it's time to cover Dynamaxing. It got banned by Smogon for all the right reasons. It is banned because it's broken. And I am here to tell you why. I am a man, a mortal man, with reasons, with love and passion for Pokemon. This also means I have no. Competitive value in my opinions whatsoever. <laughs> I was very, very honest when uh, I made a video about why Dynamax should be staying, and it was all because I really, really wanted it to be a part of um, my content. I thought Dynamax main mechanic generation eight was something to preserve because it will wouldn't make the other game less interesting moving forward. I still stand by that thought. I still think that's the right way of viewing it. The reason it's gotta go is, however, for all the right reasons. We have now a meta where we have Pokemon that could use potential C moves for free turns, and there are no defensive responses that work properly. Um, first coming to mind is something that, like I said, with C moves, what made them so great was because it was one. Trump card you had, it was a defensive one or it was an offensive one, could make you as diverse as you wanted to to be able to establish yourself to be an offensive or defensive. It was a risk, absolutely, but it was your risk. You risked yourself not use an item to be able to pull that off. Dynamaxing is not that. Dynamaxing is Mega Rayquaza. It is getting some with steroids and just say, go nuts, boy. Or no. It, Get as broken as you want to <laughs> for free turns <laughs> but yeah basically yeah dynamaxing you double your lhp it see that's a big deal because it means in theory you can set up freely and once you dynamax you still get a lot of hp back uh, a lot of like the most viable dynamax pokemon such as mega tyrannor for example that could very easily be taken out by a close combat now could very likely survive that and um, set up and retaliate. Jardos, a Pokemon that absolutely dies to Thunderbolt from Ronin Wash. No. Dragon Dance and then Power Whip you to death. Or in this, you know, go for the max grass attack, which has 100% accuracy, causes grass to train. You know, it, all that, yes, there are so many anti responses that, that aren't anti responses no more. And I've seen an argument about. Well, the defense, the best response, or dynamize yourself to defensively check those offensive threats, and I agree. And I was hoping that was the case, but you're not rewarded for defensive plays here. Dynamax Pokemon can't capitalize on defensive moves. It can't recover. The, the only thing you got is you know the Max Protect variant or Max God. That's it. That means that you're waiting out. What is that? One, two turns of their Dynamax, but you don't get to use your own. You, you see the problem here. You are most likely forced to go defensive, probably sack something, and with you Dynamax, you just try to survive, and then you're back to you being on the back four with one Pokemon less, at least. You see the problem. There are no real way of tackling it. It's not like we saw Wolfie here today, actually. He made a trick eject button with Quick Attack Sylveon to, to, <laughs> to activate the eject button, and the Dynamax Pokemon went away. Can't do that. Doubles, it works. It's not broken. It works. Um, broken is broken is a definition and subjective. It's not as overwhelming as it is on the singles. I have plenty of enough battles to, to define Dynamax in myself, and the reason I find it impossible or tough to deal with is because unlike C moves where you know it takes one of your Pokemon away to pre or you know predict right, here you're very likely to even lose three. Because you can't KO it in return most of the times because of the double HP. There are no offensive checking besides actually being reliant on your own Dynamaxing. That's that's not a very good thing. It's it's awful. 
and it is absolutely something that has been bothering me. I, like I said, it's broken for all the wrong reasons because this was something that's gonna be inventive and push the game forward. But instead, we have a meta where some people say, you know, every Pokemon can Dynamax. You no, know, everyone is viable. I agree, they are. Problem is that the Pokemon that were already were viable are a lot more viable. So even if there are Pokemon that are getting stronger, they're clearly the Pokemon that get stronger. Rrr, rrr, rrr. I have no idea if that's the word strong, more strong. I don't know. I'm just leveling here. But honestly, the, the moments that are still viable are even more viable because of Dynamaxing. Yes, uh, we have the Pokemon that are potentially like seeking can't Dynamax. Incredible, awesome. No, Max Airstream, bounce, it's there. But would you ever see Max you're seeking? I would, but it's highly unlikely most would. <laughs> it's highly unlikely seeking is used in the first place. Yeah, there are plenty of issues with this, and I think they kind of they kind of built upon. And um, I expect the Smoker community, which of course racked up, no, the. Uh, <laughs> The people ranked up, like the ones that are able to vote, they were able to do just so because they have their free time, they are in depth with the meta in mind, they should be allowed to state their view of this, and their view is that this is broken. Overwhelming majority, was it almost 90% said no, I just gotta go. You don't, you aren't successful in battling and then state that it is too much. You hear me? You aren't using something that rewards you and say that's that's a shitty aspect. If they define it as broken, it is because even though they have success with it, they also feel it's not very, very even. And that's the way I feel about it. I only want it because of YouTube content. I don't want it because of balance. And moving forward with my own channel, I'll be honest and say that there are going to be smoking battles and they're going to be battled with Dynamaxing. I think we're going to somewhere down the line uh, spawn a balance with that in mind. My my hope is that the free versus free will stay the same. They're going to be Dynamaxing. I'm going to capitalize on that content the way I can. But I'm going to have Wi-Fi battles that very well will not have Dynamax because we have agreed to rules of Smogon. Got to be respectful of that. Um, I think moving forward, people keep on a Dynamaxing and play 6 versus 6 that they're going to have a rough time finding battles because of the Smogon standard. Um, I hate that Smogon is a standard at times because it doesn't allow certain combinations to work. So if you do those certain combinations, you are in a back foot because, like, for example, we call some mixed tiers. You can't use one OU Pokemon and then lower Pokemon and be successful. If, you're just gonna, if you use OU, you're going to face OU. You're going to, at times, meet the best of that. So, yeah, this is me whining about Smogon being so what it is. It actually is a very, very balanced system and something I do appreciate to use myself. But yeah, the reason for it to go is because it just, it could end a game before it even has started and has so few counterplays that works. There are counterplays that the fortunate part is that it forces you to work a certain way. Um, we see people suggesting something like, you know, you can haste, that's not an option. Toxapex is absolutely blown away by most Seamus active Pokemon. And just like I said, offensive plays are the things that are rewarded here. They keep momentum and just offensively overwhelm an opponent. And that's how this works. And this is why it's so hard to take it at face value. Because it's so hard to deal with. So the reason for it to go are valid. I'm behind that choice. And uh, I think the meta will be better for it. Because we're now going to have 80 new Pokemons that actually can distinguish themselves outside of... Dynamaxing. They will have an honest shot of showing what they were all about, and I think the meta will actually be better for it. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the quality, right? Look at my blue eyes! <laughs> Never been that blue. I don't believe they are that blue, even. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching it. Take care.